So, Doug, what is your favorite movie you worked on? Thank you, Theo, for asking me. Um, wow, that's a good question. That's a difficult one because there's so many movies I've worked on and I've enjoyed so many of them. Yeah. But my favorite movie, well, I don't know. I mean, the last one I worked on is one of my favorites, and that was The Batman. I heard. I heard you got nominated. Yeah. I, I Have got, you ever been? So. Yeah, I've never been nominated for an Oscar before. But, you know, a lot of people I know have, so I've seen it uh, from afar. For Fly Away Home, were the geese real or were they sound effects? Well, that's a good question. So, yeah, Fly Away Home is the great movie yeah. uh, about the geese. I guess their mother or their parents die somehow. I forget how. Yeah. And then the, the these little geese apparently they don't know how to migrate unless they uh, have their parents show them and so the girl takes her little ultralight plane and leads them to the migration land so it's a very interesting little story yeah. and the geese I mean all of the geese are real geese sound that we recorded uh, I shouldn't say all so some of the geese were recorded live when they were do, acting in the movie. You know, they're real geese in yeah. the movie. And then uh, some of them, most of them, we put the voices of the geese in, in post-production. So yeah. in the sound editing, we edited in goose sounds. In fact, that was my job on that movie, was to yeah. put goose sounds in all the geese, and uh, like the little baby geese, and then they get a old, little older. So we had to get geese goose sounds from the tiniest level up to adult and we had lots of geese sounds ice age the meltdown were you in the recording studio because it's an animated film yeah yeah well so i actually tr did take a trip to where they made the movies um yeah. i'm trying to remember where it was blue was sky it? yeah mm -hmm. yeah that was out here on the east coast you know i was living in uh, the bay area san francisco area cool and and we were doing the sound there at lucas Lucas's place called Skywalker, Skywalker Sound. Sound, and we had they flew us out to visit them in Connecticut. Connecticut, thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, and they and the we took a tour of the studio where they were doing the work and everything, and then we flew back. But I never really watched them, like I wasn't with them when they were shooting the animated footage. Yeah, um, but we. We did meet them there and have a really nice visit with yeah. them on their home turf. And then we flew back and we started working on the movie. And that was a really fun movie. The director of that, uh, yeah. Carlos... Saldana. Yes, who is Brazilian and yeah. uh, did a number of films for Blue Sky. Yeah. Uh, incredibly talented guy, incredibly friendly, nice guy. Like he had every single shot like was up here in his head he knew every single detail about it like how long it was you know if it was a close shot or a, you know what happened in it what sound he wanted for that he was an amazing resource he was so amazing at really like a, a brain like no others I ever oh, met. the topic of blue sky did yeah. you know covid shut them down i heard that but i didn't I, I heard that they've shut down but i didn't know that that was why yeah, yeah. i didn't know that I mean, I heard that they shut down, yeah. They were bought by Fox. Yeah. Uh, right after that movie came out. Or was it right before? Right Actually, around the, the time the movie... the first Ice Age. Fox bought Blue Sky. Okay. After, before we worked on it. After the first Ice Age came out. Yeah. Yeah, so this was the second Ice Age movie. Yeah. And it was... Uh, so, they, yeah, we had to deal with Fox on that. And not just mm. Blue Sky. And so it was, you know, more complicated. You know, you have to, a lot of executives who all have their opinions. And anyway, yeah. And actually, before I get to the next question, this movie you worked on is a little bit more obscure, but I happen to own it on VHS. Uh -huh. It's called Blood and Wine. Oh, my God, you are a real connoisseur of esoteric movies. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. was working on that film like? Well, that was Bob Rafelson movie. Yes. And Bob Rafelson was like a superstar of the alternative direction of the like late 60s and, yes. and 70s. The and reason stuff. why Jeremy Thomas, the producer from Recorded Picture Company, chose him to direct the film was because he had like 
the feel of a European director. Yeah, okay. I, I think that film does have a kind of European feel, all right, yeah. Yeah. It was not a uh, popular hit or anything. Yeah, Fox Searchlight. It was, uh, but it was a really good film. Jack Nicholson is in it, and yeah. Stephen Dorff. Yes, it was one of his oh. earlier films. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think I worked on his first film, Stephen Dorff. Yeah, uh, which was called SFW. Cool. And uh, he was good in. So, f- what? Yeah. Excuse my language. Yes. That's what it's uh, the <laughs> acronym of. I wanted to say thanks for letting me interview you, Mr. Murray. Theo, it's been a great pleasure. I really enjoyed yep. it very much. A great pleasure interviewing you. It's so you m- nice to meet you and to yeah. hear about your interest in all these wonderful mm-hmm. uh, movies and things that you know so much about. I agree.